Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4 BMG. It's been about four weeks since we put out a video. We had some water damage here at the QTH prior to Hurricane Ian, and it took four weeks of our lives to tear down the shack and rebuild it, and a good chunk of our bank account as well. My loss, your gain, and I'm ending up with a pretty awesome ham shack and YouTube studio. Can't wait to share that with you. For those of you who've asked, we did quite well through Hurricane Ian. 36 hours prior to landfall, the center of the cone of uncertainty was coming right over us. We woke the next morning and saw that it took a turn to the south. And while we feel just terrible for those south of us who've lost so much and we need to keep them in our thoughts and prayers, have a coworker that's going to help them out. If you're able to, you should do so. We certainly were fortunate on our end. We had some down branches and frazzled nerves, but other than that, we did fine. So back to life as usual for us. You all know that I'm a huge fan of the G Gable 7350T lightweight telescoping uh, portable antenna for HF. I've done a number of videos on it. I was actually in the middle of a torture test video right when Hurricane Ian was headed at us. We finished the 30 days of extreme weather exposure and we'll share that torture test with you shortly. Today, something different. Many of you are interested in putting different telescoping antennas or collapsible antennas on top of this thing. And you have found, especially here in the States, that these threads are just a little bit strange. So after many hours of searching on YouTube, I have the solution for you. And that solution is this right here coming up on the screen. It's a McMaster car fastener. I'll put it very specifically in the notes below. It's expensive. Good luck finding it elsewhere. I've searched high and low for this odd beast that will go from an M10-1 to a 3 8 by 24. So your 3 8 by 24, that's what we need here in the good old USA. And when we get that 3 8 by 24, we all know that we can put anything on that that would resemble the Cha SS-17 from Chameleon Antennas or the MFJ-1979 that I have here in front of me right now. Here's my seven element man pack collapsible, 3 8 by 24, 3 8 by 24. So anything 3 8 by 24 works. Here's the solution and you can get it from McMaster Car. Again, I've searched everywhere. That's the only place I could find it. If you buy that adapter, then you are good to go. You will have exactly what you need to convert to any of the antennas that you wanna put on top of this thing. Let's get a closer look at it. It is M10 by one thread on one side and 3 8 by 24 on the other. It's $18.88 buying it from McMaster Car. That's not overly expensive, but by the time you get shipping added onto that, you're going to be in the mid to high 20s, maybe even $30, depending on your shipping expense. And that is a little bit pricey for this stinking little adapter. You're happy with your G-Gable antenna system, but you want to get something a little bit longer on top of here, as opposed to this three ounce short mast with the uh, strange threads to us uh, here in the USA. So you take this adapter and that's going to go on top of the unit. And then you can take any antenna that has a 3 8 by 24 thread. I'm just gonna show a couple of examples here. You can take your man pack uh, seven element collapsible. And within a matter of minutes, that can be on top of your G Gable coil. And you can use the coil then to get to uh, resonance on the frequency that you want to operate on. You can do the same with any one of the collapsible antennas that come with the Wolf River coil systems. You can put the Chameleon SS-17 on here. That's currently in my large go bag that was prepared for getting out of town if the hurricane was really coming our direction. And here I have the MFJ-1979 that I'm going to put on top of here just for kicks. But again, anything that's 3 8 by 24, this adapter will let you use. And then as you tune your antenna, realize that depending on the height of your collapsible antenna that you put on top of it, you're going to have to adjust this accordingly. And here we go with the MFJ 1979.
Now you could potentially have dissimilar materials here. So if you're going to leave this set up for any kind of time, you know, like a day or longer, especially exposed to the elements, you should be putting some type of compound on here so that these will release when you want to take them apart. Otherwise you could have some galling, you could have some of these items sticking together and then you've got to take pliers to them and none of us really want to scratch up our $30 connector, right? Not me. So thanks for stopping by today and taking a look at this option for the GRA 7350-T. And by the way, I have some awesome and interesting news coming on this antenna in a few short weeks. So we've got a torture test video coming, then I have another announcement about this particular antenna coming. But if you wanna get something different on top of this and you wanna get something higher in the air, certainly possible, I'll put a link to uh, this particular connector below and the very specific description from McMaster Car. I'm not an affiliate at McMaster Car. This is the place to get it. Again, if someone else can find one somewhere else, please let us know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this friend. Looking forward to the next videos with you. Take care, 73.